everyone, this is Peter and Lori with Prophetic Watcher in 88. Before we get started, please hit like and subscribe, even if you think you are, just double check. We'll appreciate it. All right, that's all we got. We have no slides. Uh, that's it. No slides. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Lori's back. Okay, <laughs> we're, guys, we're not going to get all goofy. This uh, We actually have a, a pretty exciting thing and we want to we want to get into that but can I just say before we get started I, I, I my bride has been we've been through so much my bride I'm so happy she's with us right now crazy times but the thing I want to say is no matter what we do we are pointing everyone to Jesus Christ the Alpha and Omega beginning and end first and last the Aleph and the Tav he is our all in all it is all about him so if we point everyone to Jesus Christ he says if I be lifted up, I will draw all mankind unto myself. So we're going to do our best to co-labor with Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit to elevate him. And we're just going to see what happens. This is the time of ministry. Mm -hmm. okay? We just want to encourage you guys today. And, you know, I feel like uh, the ecclesia as a whole is, you know, been under a lot of attack. Mm -hmm. um, right. You know, one of the things that... <clears throat> that has been kind of sticking out lately is the accusers of the brethren. Whew. And you know, in the word it says that um, when Satan is knocked down, that he will no longer be able to accuse us. Oh, right, 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 right. You know, yes, when he's, yes. Anyway, and so... Kicked out of the presence of God. The yeah. time of accusers is about to end. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. But, that being said, <laughs> it would be great if everybody could get on board and... Right, uh, encourage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, this wasn't even on the note. This wasn't even on the notes. But again, we're trying to do our best tonight, honestly, to just to just flow with the Holy Spirit. So, give us some grace, because that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, um, in saying that, the Holy Spirit, He, oh gosh. Okay. So, I'm gonna say it like this. I don't even have my Bible. All of the Scriptures is prophecy. It is all prophetic. It is all prophecy. Okay? Prophecy in the New Testament, prophetic ministry, not just all, uh, end times talking about when is Christ coming back and all that, not Jacob trouble, not that type of prophecy, but prophetic ministry mm -hmm. is to build up the ecclesia, the church, the body, build yes. up to call Edify. up, yep, to call up to Christ into the kingdom and to comfort. Yeah. Those three things, build up, call up, and comfort. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are going to attempt with the Holy Spirit today as we go through this, because right. I, I just think that's important. Right. right? And I think that a lot of people kind of misconstrue what, um, is that the right word? Misconstrue. We're going to go with it. We, we understand. Go ahead. Go. I love, she's cute. Anyway, um, they misunderstand what prophecy is. Right. And, and basically... I, I, I'm pretty sure that the word says that if the Lord tells you something and you tell someone else that the Lord told you that, you prophesy. <laughs> That's the best Anything way to put that it. that the Lord tells us and that we share what we believe that the Lord is saying, and you know. it will line up with Scripture. Yes. Always line up with Scripture. It won't go against Scripture. Right. Very simple. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're so cute. I love it. I love <coughs> We're going we're gonna to let you guys know. Okay, we're going we're gonna to slow down. We're going to be real. And I'm raw still. I'm not, I can't speak from her, my beautiful bride here, <laughs> Priscilla and Aquila here. But on my end, the eagle side, I'm still raw because we're going through a lot of things. We might share some of those things. But I have notes. We have, oh, just so we can, let's just start like this, if you don't mind. <laughs> Guys, we have no special slides, no technology, no, oh, whiz-bang things. We're going to go to the scripture, absolutely. And we're going to dig in there because God has some amazing things to show us. Mm -hmm. But... Honestly, this is not about we, slides. Well, we've but you know been looking so much into the stars and stuff that wow, this has been a really beautiful slideshow that we've been, you know, it yeah. comes across our screen. This is basically our, but you know, look at it. It's so, basically our desktop right here. So it's mostly all the stars and stuff. But um, God has been <sighs> so fun lately. I mean, <laughs> but when you know when I got sick, you know, I was sick for like two weeks. Oh, at least and um. The thing is, is that you feel like you're missing out on something that, mm -hmm. that God's doing, or wow. I, at least I do. I, yeah, well, like, I do too. Like, and and I would I would sneak to the window in the middle of the night once in a while and be like, I'm still here. <laughs> and he I'm knows. Still here. Please help me. Heal me. <laughs> help me. I'm poor. He knows. Go yeah. ahead. 
So anyway, um, I'm just glad I'm, I'm, just, I'm not 100% no. still, but... Right. Um, so we may be hitting better, pause. Much, right. much better. Way better. We might hit pause because of any kind of coughing or whatever, but she's here, so we want to get through this. And guys, the, the, I am... I, the last couple days, but especially today, I woke up just empowered. I mean excited. Even in, and we're going to share with some of the dark things that have happened, but I am so pumped mm -hmm. because I see what God's doing and I see the end and we're right there. We're yeah. at the finish line. Also, another weird thing that's happened is that for a really long time, I haven't had any dreams. Mm. And all wow. of a sudden, like in the last five days, I've, I've been having like dreams like every night. Like weird dreams. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and we're going to get in a couple of them. Can we bring yeah. Them? Yes. Yeah. yeah you're it's right. It's just weird right. that all of a sudden I'm dreaming. I don't know if people, every, everybody is having weird dreams. Like if it's, you I, know, a sign of the times. I don't know. It could be. It's Chalk like, it up to end time living. There you go. There you go, guys. We are, okay, these are not fake smiles. Okay. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll get into it. Listen, listen, I'm excited. I'm excited. But I have notes just because we, I used to have idiot proof slides. Now I just have simple notes. This is old school. I'm so, I, can I say, we've been of the way in Christ for, again, for 34 years, over 34 years. So we have just, just crazy kinds of experiences with lovely experiences. Yeah, we're going to get in some of that tonight. But in the old days, I used to make notes like this. And I used to be able to go and I'd minister either in the streets or in, in churches or whatever. And I'd get all these notes together and all prepared study and all the scriptures. <laughs> and I'd stand in front of people. And all of a sudden, I'd get an unction. <laughs> Something in my... The Holy Spirit would move and I would chuck these notes. <laughs> and Lori would be sitting there going, Oh, here we go. <laughs> off the notes. <laughs> He's off the notes. So... <clears throat> Tonight, I'm going to try to stay on these notes because it, it is God showing us something. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit more experienced now in how God flows. But the reason I'm saying this is because, guys, do not check out, please. We are having right now um, ecclesia. And I'm going to explain what that means right now. So by faith, tune in, okay? Even if you're um, watching this days later or hours later, we're still one in Christ. God is outside of time. We're connected right now with you as we're watching. Yeah spiritually in Christ. When you when you read like the New Testament and stuff, you're reading the letters that were sent, which would take I don't who knows how what? long it took to mail. Right. The you mail know, was a little like, slow back we, then. We can we can read it in, you know, fast paced, but right, 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 during right. the time that, that it was all going Imagine on, everything that. was so far spread out. Way yeah. different than uh, those are minds when you put yeah. yourself in their situation, not our situation. Yeah. 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 Okay. So again, I have beautiful notes. Here's where I, I would like to start, if you don't mind. First of all, thank you to each and every one of you guys <clears throat> that have been praying. <sighs> it, it, we don't have the words. We love you. We're praying for you as well, and we thank you. Yes, right? yes. You guys rock. You're amazing. Now, I have to give some shout-outs, and here's there's a reason why mm -hmm. I'm going to give some of these shout-outs. Uh, um, Go ahead. Also, I wanted to mention that we've had a couple of donations, Oh, God. and I've tried to respond immediately to the people to thank them, right. uh, that God bless you guys. We really appreciate it. Yes. Um, the, um, I, but, but one of the ones that I wanted to thank it wouldn't let me respond. So uh, I always just like to shout out everybody who's given right. to us has been right. super wonderful and we really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. It's awesome. And you may or may not, we may or may not get into <clears throat> some of the reasons why, but that's great. Okay. Thank you. No, because I got it. Anyway. So this group, I'm going to mention a little group here and I'm, I'm, I might forget some names and even say some names wrong and I'm sorry, but if any of you guys that are mentioned right now are watching this, from the bottom of our heart, you need to understand what's going on. I'm going to tell you. You guys are lovely. Okay. First of all, I want to say, okay, in South Africa, uh, I, I, I've never physically taught you, but we have taught uh, Jay, Jay Combs. Jay, Jay Combs? Jay Combs? Mm -hmm. There you go. JC. Yo, dude, South Africa. Go team, man. You are amazing, okay? You are such an encouragement, and I know you keep saying when, when your schedule allows, we're going to have a video chat. I can't wait for that day, but I hope that we're, you know, we'll meet the kingdom. <laughs> yeah. But if not. We would love to have a, a video chat with you. But again, you've been such an encouragement. I had to give you a shout out because it's been amazing. Okay, Mark Allison 88 and all of your mods. You got Wendy, DJ, Lori, Edna, Paula, Tina, Robin, Olson, Hope, all of you guys. I, there's more. I'm sorry. There's more. But if you're any of you are watching this, 
Mark Allison 88 and all your mods, you guys are just <clears throat> when I'm there and you guys doing praise and worship or you know, Mark, you're sharing your, you know, your awesome clues that God's given you, which by the way are mind blowing. The encouragement that is going on inside the chat. I might say something like, you know, hey guys, I, I love you, or I, I we might need some prayer. You guys are immediately responding. Mm -hmm. And it it just Yeah. It's mind blowing. It's it means something to us. Uh, yeah, it, and in the spirit, you're yeah. breaking the darkness. Okay. Also, yeah. So in that same group, Watchman Dan and all your mods. Okay. So first of all, Watchman Dan, we love you. Yeah. We appreciate you. You are amazing. Tenacious. Oh, there it is. There it is. There the bulldog. Tenacity against it. Oh, and against the, the man, against the whole. You know. You know. Yeah. You know. So we love you. It's not. Because I haven't, you know, seen some of your, you know, uh, early morning things. You'll find out because of things were going on with us. I couldn't get on there and be, I was, I was fighting, man. I was bad. Okay, anyway. So, you, Danny, Danny boy, love you and all your mods. Bill Bailey, you are mind-blowing amazing with all your info on your sites and all that stuff. Okay, Sherry, Chosen, 144, all you guys. So, that whole group, okay? So, that whole, it's, there's going to be a reason. You're going to know why I'm saying all this stuff. All the things that you guys are doing in the chat and live online, it all matters. And you're going to see when we get to the kingdom. <laughs> okay, now, Baby D. Okay, Dion Sanders. I know prime time. I know your name is Sanders. I know it's different, but Baby D, you know who you are. I know you, you got a busy, you got your business, and you're doing all your things, and you don't have time for video chat. I wish you did because I, I would love to have you with a video. That's the guy. He does all those numbers. And yeah, 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 yeah. Mind blowing. I, I, I like that because that's what I do. I do the numbers too, but I, I don't display them as well as you do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so you. Now, <clears throat> that's Baby D. Now, MJ, I can't even pronounce your last name. Kolod, Koladzik. 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 MJ. MJ Koladzik, right there. Dude, all I know is MJ. I, I, it, all I know is this is the guy that mm -hmm. does, yes, all MJ, right, and the numbers, yeah. and putting it all together and telling the story. And I'm reading those, MJ, and I'm like, my mind is, I had to pick it up many times on the ground, and I put it back, and then I just give you like one word. Uh, <laughs> and then you go like, wow, that's, and anyway, our relationship, I love it, and I can't wait to meet you in the kingdom as well. It's mm -hmm. going to be amazing. So. In that group, that first group, so all of that, what I'm trying to say in that group, and, and there's many more, but in that group, everything that we're doing around the world, because I look on some of you guys, I mean, we got, there's got Brazil, and you have Australia, you have, I mean, everywhere around the world, all Europe, everywhere, I mean, Africa, everywhere, okay, everywhere, we are being the ecclesia, the body of Christ, the bride. The ecclesia is just a word that in the in the New Testament is a Greek word for church, but I don't want to say church because immediately people think of a building that people have to go to to go do things. Mm -hmm. That is not ecclesia. Ecclesia is what we do on a daily basis. All of us, all of us together on a daily basis, right? Yeah. We're living by the life of Christ Jesus together. Yeah. All the one another's and yes, uh, yeah, yes. That's a whole separate video, but uh, yes. Okay. And and the go Lord loves to see us all working together because yes. it gives us all a part. Yeah, there you go. go and ahead. then when we start putting our parts together, like, yes. I think it's really cool. Like, God will, like, share something with me. And, of course, we don't break videos out as as fast as a lot of you guys. No way. Like, hourly Watchmen, I mean, he puts one out. Uh, hourly? <laughs> hourly. <laughs> That's well, good. Anyway, anyway. But, but the funny thing is, and I've been wanting to say this for a long time, is that we think alike, him and I. Ah. And what is crazy is that we share the same birthday. That's right. And um, so, like, uh, the other day I was telling Pete that, you know, the whole constellation of right, right, um, right. the Virgo and the stars and the child is coming through. Right. I told Pete, I said, personally, I don't really consider the baby delivered until it's past its her, her knees. Whoa. Because then it's... Right. You right, know, of course. Just, then you but, can take the baby. Right, right. right. And so, uh, you know, and I'm watching every night I go check to see where the child is and yep. it technically hasn't put the past her knees yet. Right. And I get on hourly watch like mm -hmm. right after that and he's talking mm -hmm. about how she hasn't passed it. The child <laughs> hasn't passed her knees yet. Right. And I told Pia, I was like, wow, you know, it's so weird how like we think alike. Spiritually and our connected. Are s the same day. Right. and. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. To, it's, it is. Because we're all together in Christ. Yeah, we're that's all the thing. part of the same there creator. So, yes. 
So anyway, it's just been kind of cool. You know, we don't get pop out the videos as fast, and you know, right, I'm not right. looking for credit or anything like <clears throat> no, that. No, 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 I'm no. I'm just saying that. But your point. I feel like that I could say, "Hey, hourly watch, you know, you're doing a great job." Absolutely. I think a shout out to him. There you right. go. Major confirmation. Yeah. Absolutely. Repo Man 64. <clears throat> we're we're going to get... Hold on. 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 Because I want to say this. For, she's... Look at it. I'm not, I'm not going over her. She's going over me. So we're going to go together. <laughs> we're going to go together. <clears throat> Still, in that first group, though, there are people, and I know because, because I, I watch the chat and I try to encourage, I try to do my best to encourage in Christ, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are people that are physically by themselves. Yes. And they think possibly I have no one else. I have no family members. Either I've chased them away like us. Either I've chased them away. They think I'm crazy. Or, or you're just physically in a path where laugh. It's true. Or you're, you're, but you're alone. You think you're physically alone. You may be physically alone. So these daily um, gatherings, these daily meetings, these daily connections, okay, to all of us, we're all connected so that we're not alone. You are connected to us in Christ. Lisa R. and your hubby hubby there in Tennessee and all you Tennesseans and all, all of we're all connected. Yeah. Shelly, all connected mm -hmm. in Christ. All, so you see what I'm saying? So now, so that's, so that's, that's, that's living, oh, Ecclesia. Now, if you want to do a fun project, and I mean this, and I mean this, you'll learn, you'll learn it in the kingdom, but try to learn it now. The Greek word two, four, zero. Okay. It's one another. It's the one another's. If you if you look for the Greek word, some of all you guys that you're already typing it in, go look at G two four zero the one another's. Start from the very bottom, <clears throat> which means from I I want to say like a Revelation right in the area uh, through there and go up, and then look at all the unique one another's, mm -hmm. love one another, encourage one another, put, pray for one another, put one another ahead of yourself. Mm -hmm. All okay. All so there's at least fifty eight individual one another's. Homework assignment if you want it, because it's beautiful. It's good. It yes. Is beautiful. And, and how how much he wants us to be in unity yeah, with and, him. Right. And where those one another's are, there is Christ Jesus. Yeah. So if you are alone or, or whatever, you are connected and there he is. Where two or more are gathered. Anyway, I just gotta say, I, that's just awesome. So now to the yes, to the of course, of course, I have to get to uh, Brother John, John for Watchman for that great day, and Repo Man 64. Yeah. Because to be honest, those were the two guys that helped us originally even get subscribers. Yeah. I did a full, I put our, I put our, I think we had, I don't know, two or six subscribers. I put our first video on yeah, there yeah. Like over a year ago, right? And, but it was like when God, God was working on us for a long time, but then he downloaded all this stuff. And I go, what do I do with it? Make a video. So I, that's the first, anyway, it went out. I get a phone call from Brother John. I don't know Brother John. I have no idea at the time who Brother John is. He calls me, he goes, brother. You know how he talks. Yeah, we didn't even know that right. there was a, a community, a, a community of watchmen out there. We were just well, we just put the info out. Yeah. And said, God, what do you want to do with this? And so I, that was the I had to say it. He was the first one that called. I love you, John. And so you said, Wow! And it, 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 we were. He got us to understand there's a community out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we for years we have got on you, some of you that have been subscribed. You know our journey, but. To, to 2020 at that time we didn't that's when god opened us up to all of this yeah so he did that he goes boom i'll, I'll support you i'll have you on and he started having me on live right. just to say hey these guys go look what they're doing and then of course repo man 64 he i don't know how he got my video our video but he, he showed he goes he's laughing on his channel repo man you do a great job of saying i want to support as many channels as possible because when we're gone hopefully some of them will get through and you're right and that will happen but when you first saw us, you were laughing. You go, go help this guy out. They got six subscribers. We can do a little better than that. And I was laughing. It, and it was just so funny. And we were <laughs> so thrilled that somebody noticed us. They said, just... they call him. He knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's how dorky we are, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Be. We're real. Because we were, you know, I mean, this was in the okay. middle of the lockdown. Right. And we were so like. We were so alone. It was just Pete and I. Nobody was living with us at the time. It was just us. And we were having a blast. We but God, God was taking us through some we amazing had, we training. Had one year. Oh my one, gosh. I would say one go ahead. and a half year. Go ahead. Yeah. One year and five months. There you go. Of an emptiness. 
And yeah, right there. And like you know, there's sometimes yeah. that it comes along. And it, like, no kid, we have four grown adult kids. Right. That. <laughs> she does right. That so one year five now. Yeah, it didn't what last God long. did in that one year five months yeah, was an five. intense training. Yes. Download, mm -hmm. opening, uh, we were deliverance, just seeking. It was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, we're not bragging. Hey, it was really, fun. We, we were a bowl and mess of goo on the ground. Okay, God was it ripping was like, things out. It was like the Lord said, Lo I'm locking you down. I'm going to deal with some stuff. We're going to deal with, it with you. Operation, operation. Okay, now look, 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 look. So, now. So, and, and the Lord was like, show us, I'm calling you to be watchmen. This is We didn't even know what that was. Right, right, right. And we're like, what? Right, right, right. So then we discover Anybody that. Anybody else know about this? <laughs> yes, of course. You know. Right. And um, like God tells his prophet, hey, I have a whole remnant of you. So that's, and that's yes. where he introduced so us to yeah. the remnant. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Yeah. Okay. So we're just normal people. We are normal goofy fun. people. Even, right. Even though people, you know, say, don't watch these guys. They're fake. Okay. Now listen. Or listen. don't give to them. They're okay. begging for money. Oh, oh right. Which we're oh, not. Silly, right. Silly, crazy stuff. Mockers and scoffers. I don't care. Look, listen. I don't give a flip. Listen. But I just want to say. She's going to say it. That you have to be really careful about what you say about God's people. I didn't want to say that. God does not like. I know. You putting down his people. His people. His he anointed. doesn't like his, his anointed. people putting down his people. Right. And you don't put it down, down his anointed. That's scriptural. You just don't do it. I'm just saying let's leave it there. Mm -hmm. Let's just so leave it there. Just okay. do your own thing with God. Now. You don't have to listen to us. Right. Don't listen to us. We're goofy. And again, we're taking our time. Why? Because we can. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I have to mention, okay, Dr. Funny Bones, Barry, yeah. Do I'll, be, I'll be polite first. Dr. Barry, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, funny dude. Okay, Barry and Danny and your whole tribe. Yes, bless you. Oh, my gosh. God bless you. <laughs> oh, brother from another mother. I, I, you'll know in the kingdom. We'll tickle fight, all that. But listen, listen to me. We love I don't, yeah, we love you. We love you. I we think it's you. so funny that, oh like, I, he's like... Uh, on uh, at least on because well, I watch ahead. TikTok, go I ahead. try to find out what in the world's going on in the world. I, I try not. But to how do I does. pray? What do you want me to do? Right. That kind of thing. And I am telling you, I come across <laughs> Barry all the time, and it's so funny because I will say, I know him. <laughs> okay, then. Barry. He's our friend. Barry, you are all over TikTok, my friend. I mean, it's cool. I love no, it. no, it's awesome. That's uh, at least on my because my what algorithm, right? But listen, here's the thing. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter who gets out there. Dan, brother Dan, right. Watchman Dan, you say the best. You do this the best. It doesn't matter whose face is that. It's that Jesus Christ yes. is getting out yes. there. He is returning. He's yes. coming. Be awake, alert, and watching. Uh -huh. All the watchmen. I don't even, I don't, I, the only reason I go to TikTok, because I'm too dumb to know how to use YouTube to create a short. So TikTok is easy for me to go bang, 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 create a short, and bam, there it goes. So that's really the only reason I use it. But the point is, I see uh, uh, Bobby out there. That's another, I didn't mention you yet, but I see Bobby face out there. I see Barry all over the face. All like, you know, my point is Love Jesus it. Christ is all over the globe. Mm -hmm. But Barry, wow. Wow. Uh, you have been such an, I just got to say, you have been such an encouragement to this family and Danny, even more than Barry, you have encouraged us. <laughs> so, bless you. Okay, I, enough about that. No, okay, no, no more stop. Oh, okay, love, 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 blah, blah, blah. Hit pause. Okay, we're going to hit pause. One second. One second. Hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. <laughs> and we're back. No, I'm kidding. Because that's Barry. We did, we did delivery. We did delivery. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we had. Anyway, uh, so that was that was you know Barry and Tribe and Danny and all them. But again, but again, because we were mentioned once with with you. I'm not going to give the guys name. I don't want to say it. But there was a uh, one so-called watchman that said if you are of this camp and he lists Barry <laughs> and he lists a couple other like Bobby, Bobby. Hey, I love you, Bobby. You're the best. And I'll, you're going to get in a second. But anyway, and then he lists us. And at the time, <laughs> we had um, like. Just over 4,000 subscribers. I'm just saying, which is, even now, we really have nothing, okay? But it's all God, but but we had 4,000. This guy lists us with, with Dr. Barry R. And I, me, we're laughing, we're high-fiving, we're like, <laughs> Anyway, because he was trying to put us down. But it's like, wow, if that made people come to us, and it did, because we got more subscribers, they got to see that we actually present scriptural truth. That's all I want to say. We try to be. No. We try to. Yeah, of course. We do our best anyway. Okay, so 
Lori, go ahead. What did you want to say? Also, I wanted to give a shout out to a TikTok subscriber, and I know that they follow us. I don't Not know. Follow. This is my subscriber or something. Subscribe. Oh, okay. Yes, they're subscribers. Okay. But anyway, um, who's posting a lot of our communities? Videos oh, the Watchman community stuff on there? On TikTok oh. is um, Miss Tower Flower. So I really yeah. appreciate your TikTok videos. Really? Because you support um, all of our community. And I believe that you're a subscriber because I've seen your icon before. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> well, that's we cool. I appreciate you. Okay. So there you go. So, yeah. in, in, so in doing all that, like I said, uh, I hope we stayed on track. We'll see later. Anyway, the one and others continue to do them. Pray, call somebody. Yes. Oh, I forgot, brother Aaron. I didn't forget, little bro. I'm so sorry. Stats, all you guys, and all of your mods. I, I apologize, but it just came in my head. You guys as well. All of the things that all of us do. Everyone, even if you have a channel or not. We're all a part of the ecclesia, yeah. the body of Christ. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Oh, fe fe fellow warriors, yes, right? Yes. Kings and fellow priests. <laughs> and okay. Oh, by the way, okay. Can I, since we're going to mention that, okay, this is important. Just because we say, oh, we're watchmen, or some people say, oh, we're this or we're that. Listen, 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 listen. let's let's understand something. We, it's not a badge of honor. It's not something that you put on a stage. You know, oh, we're the watchmen. No, 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 no. We are normal people. Now, the function of the Holy Spirit that he is doing in a remnant, a piece of the bride, the Holy Spirit has people awake, alert, and watching to watch. They're on the wall. The Holy Spirit is doing it through people. You may say, okay, I'm one. Great. But don't put people down that, that are being used by the Holy Spirit to watch. God reveals and we announce. That's all we can do. Then we have get no credit. We're a, deli ah, we're a delivery boy. Delivery service. He downloads fresh bread and bam, we deliver it. He downloads, boom. That's all we're doing. So that's the watchman community. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that goes with any gift, any fruit. We, it's, not, it's a different teaching. But again, it is the Holy Spirit, Christ himself, being himself through us. We're just allowing him. We're co-laboring with him. Yes. Okay. Had to be said. All right. So, now. Whew, okay. Now we're going to start our video. Okay. <laughs> He's nuts. I'm nuts. Hey, I'm excited. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I have to say it like this. I have to wear these glasses because... I can see that She's having a hard, see this, yeah. I'm having a hard time seeing okay. certain things. Can you see now? This is good. You look beautiful. Yeah. In either one, you look great. She looks great. I hate glasses. I can't wait to be free of There that. you go. I need glasses and I should have them on. <laughs> I made my notes um, like as big a font as I could. I'm just saying that because I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. Anyway, back to this. Okay. So, it started with this. So. Early August, I, I gotta say it like this, and you jump in and add or delete whatever you want. In early August, God was downloading to us, revealing to us by, by everything, sun, moon, stars, events on the globe, everything through the scriptures, multiple revelation. Now, it had to do with this. One of them was AI, the beast system. One was spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. One was violent faith. And, and I'll, I'll leave it for there. So those three, we're being, okay, <laughs> that was early August. So I'm, we're taking notes, we're okay, we gotta get this going, let's get this going. So, Lori says, and I have to say it like this, hey, this AI, the B system, it looks like it's mostly technology, why don't you just do it yourself? We agreed, and I said, you know what, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And I'm just gonna speed this up, and I said, okay. So, I went over there, and I tried tw over 20 times, literally 20 times, to get that video out. I mean, I, I mean, it could, yeah, I couldn't even get it started. I, the, I was having video problems. I was having speech problems. I, 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 I couldn't remember what I was saying. Yeah. I, I, everything you could think of. And so I ran down there after. I, I, oh, I remember it was like hours, hours. Yes, and I came right. down there almost midnight. And she goes, you done? I go, I haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so, I was so frustrated. And so I said to her, <laughs> I believe God is saying, you need to be with me. And so, yeah. she agreed. So, that was, just, that was just for that one. That was just the AIB system, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we tried to get that and we got it out. And I thought it was really cool. I thought it went well. A lot of information. We were attacking the source, not people, not humans, but the source, the spiritual source 
Satan himself, the seed behind everything that you're seeing in this end time stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything. We were attacking that and exposing it. God was exposing it. So, of course, we, um, and then right after that, we put out this thing, spiritual warfare, on how to battle. Right? We did that next one. It was spiritual warfare, and we put on how to battle. And we were going to do violent faith, but in the middle of that, around Lori's birthday, or right, right, right okay, oh, okay, right, yeah, okay, so first, I did, Bobby, I finally got a hold of Bobby, Bobby, God bless you, Bobby, uh, in time, dreams, and visions, Bob Barber, okay, I call you Bobby, you know that, okay, Bobby, <clears throat> we have been trying to get uh, in touch with one another for months, let's just say months, at least months, and for whatever reason, we just couldn't hook up, okay, now, we finally got together. And, and <laughs> finally, and so we said, we want to do this video. So he saw that I, uh, we did um, the AI to B system. So we were going to have a question answer kind of thing. Just me and Bobby, just doing question answer about the B system. So we, we got together, we hit record. All of a sudden, Bob started having all kinds of problems with his um, video, his microphone. His, you can even watch the video. His mic is even still, it's all screwed up. He has beautiful sound equipment, everything perfect. In the video, one video he does with me, his stuff is jacked. <laughs> he, his, you know, is muffled. Anyway, my point is, he had to stop even during the time because he went offline. He had to pray in, uh, against the spiritual attack in the name of Jesus Christ and drive those things out. And then he came back online. Okay, that's during this video that we I was doing with him. Okay, now <clears throat> during the the segment, the piece there, when we're talking about uh, the force, the evil force that is behind. Uh, Ouija, the Ouija board that is behind AI, okay, when we were discussing that, he was saying, hey, when, you know what, when I was a kid, my brothers, they went and found um, against my mom's wishes, and she didn't know, and they found a Ouija board, they brought it in and started using it, and weird things were happening, he, this is his story, okay, as he's telling that story on our video, as we're recording, he is actually having um, a family emergency, a spiritual attack that manifested physically in his own family was happening when we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. I, there's a reason I'm telling you that you, you got to know this is extremely important. People that say, hey, I'm a watchman, I'm doing, I'm just, even if you just say, hey, I'm a Christian, and you know you're a Christian, you're doing Christian, you're, you know you love God, and you're in the Word and all that. It is just natural. You are a beacon of light, and all the darkness knows that you are a beacon of light. Now, they can't there's, they're limited, okay? Mm -hmm. But they know when you are co-laboring and the power of God is pulsating and you are doing damage and you're going forth and all the amazing things, the enemy will try to find, and this is just this is just the way it is. <clears throat> Let's just say in your tribe. Let's can I put it like this? Tell me if I'm wrong. The enemy will try to find somewhere in your tribe that might be um, a hole or a gap that he might be able to sneak in. Okay? Now, when Bobby was telling us the story about the Ouija board, he himself was saying, and I know that we know this because of training, and we, we know this absolutely, but he was talking about <clears throat> it opens doors, portals to the dark side. And as he was talking about that, he got attacked by the dark side. Mm -hmm. These are real mm -hmm. things. Yeah. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. And, and I, I would... You know, want to caution all my family and Christian friends <laughs> to be really careful with AI because yes. even though it looks good, like I come across them <clears throat> uh, telling Bible stories. And oh stuff, gosh, and it's beautiful and everything. Stay away from it. I, I, it's just a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just don't trust it. Of I don't not. trust it. Even even if they're quoting scripture or whatever, I just don't trust it. And I know that there's a a, a few people who are using AI it's to a, make their videos and stuff. And I was just saying, but that's between them and God. Yeah, just be careful. As a warning, can I say it like this? Mm -hmm. As a warning, it's like playing with the Ouija board in the same way. I guess it is not. Again, we did the video. That's what I'm saying. We did the video on it. We did. We put all the, inf the information out. It is the same dark force behind it. It's just using the technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in saying that, in that time, so right after me and Bobby got done with that, and we, we finally got that video out, and, and oh, 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 oh my gosh, I got it, I forgot this. Okay, <coughs> so because again, we're talking about exposing the B system, okay? When we were done recording, I edited, I had to edit some things, and then I shot it out to YouTube, and I went to bed. 
And I go, okay, well, at least we'll see how many views. Maybe some people saw it by the time I wake up in the morning, okay? So that night, I, I, I just remembered. I could not sleep. I was being, now I know, back then I didn't know. I just knew I couldn't sleep. I was restless. I was, I was, I was, I was restless. And I was kind of ticked off. I'll just be honest. I was ticked. And I don't even know why. I, it, I, anyway, I got out of bed after midnight. And I came in here in the office. And I said, let's just see what's going on with the video. Let's see how many people saw it. And I looked. And it said <laughs> that our video had been removed, deleted by YouTube. I said, what? <laughs> I, said, I said, whoa. So listen. <clears throat> The enemy did not want that video to get out. It got deleted. Okay, so. Then YouTube just randomly put it back? No. Oh. So, I, and I know, <laughs> I, no, no, because I, we already had one strike. We were already going to be tanked for a week or two. We were, I was not, because I, I got up and I couldn't make comments. I couldn't do anything. I went to our, our, our you know, you go inside of YouTube to find out what's going on. They say, hey, second strike, you deleted, you guys were bad, slap, 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 your video's gone, and you can no longer comment on anybody's, you can't even, we could do nothing but view. Talk about being Pewed, okay? So I got, I was mad in the spirit, and then I, I calmed down. <clears throat> I put my complaint, because you get, you have to follow, you have to, they force you to, you know, click, 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 you have to follow their thing. So anyway, the only thing I said, I said, I did nothing wrong. I entered. I went to bed. Back to bed. I prayed, I'm just, I'm just, brr. so God gets me up at my normal time, my watchman time. I come back here in the office. I, I get up and I see nothing has changed. So I, I, I'm still, we're still deleted. I can't do anything. So I sent an email off to our, our, our group, group of watchmen, like John and Bobby, all you guys. I, I sent I, I an email to you guys. I think I even sent Watchman Dan and some online. I think I community S is, is alert. Anyway, all this stuff. We, we, we were done. Um, couldn't do nothing. Anyway, my point is I was trying to tell people that help uh, others understand that we are offline. I'm praying. Others are praying. I'm not kidding. Within, within an hour, maybe less, it's under an hour, all of a sudden, Micah comes in and goes, hey, your video is great. I'm like, what? I go, how are you seeing the video? You shouldn't be able to see the video. They deleted our, our account. He goes, no, I'm watching it right now. I go, what? He goes, yeah, I was watching it last night, and then I, I didn't finish it, but I left it on, and I'm watching it this morning. I'm like, oh, oh, then just, it's a buffer. Just, you, I'm, I were doing, anyway, so long story short, God broke in there, had YouTube somehow change it, put our video back, took our strike away, put our account back, allowed us to do everything we could do before. Guys, if you know YouTube, if you have an account, this is not normal. They even say, even when you get that second strike and they delete your video, even if they're in the wrong, while they're recording, it's going to take a week or longer. You will have no access. Same. It's, it, so my point is, the enemy did not want to get out. God miraculously changed it, got the algorithm correct, put the video back out, and there we go. The, again, there's a reason I'm telling this story. These are real things. These are not coincidences. These are not, oh, a human made a mistake. No, no, no. <laughs> when you are engaged with the Holy Spirit and you allow him to use you the way he wants to, all his fruit, all his gifts can be used according to the way he wants to through you. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's all about him, not about us. So, because that, we are these amazing people that, in our weakness, God perfects his dunamis power in our weakness. So when we're weak and nothing like we are, the enemy, all he sees is this massive, massive ball of pure light that he can't do nothing against. So he huffs and puffs, and he goes, I'm going to, and he goes, you Hey, chin, my chin, 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 no way, baby. All he can do is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so. <sighs> That's that part. So, I got sick right after the, 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 the whole, that whole catastrophe. I went down for three days, and I mean aches from the midsection all the way down, aches, I couldn't, not, I'm fever, boom, dead, three days. I'm better. Now, all of our household's sick, all of a sudden she get hit. What did you get hit with? Can you explain something? Because you went down 
hard. Mm -hmm. Hard. Can you want to play anything? Go ahead. I, I don't know. I had, I never did get COVID the first round. Oh, careful on what you say. Uh, because they, they algorithm. But go ahead. All right. Well, I don't know if that's what it was, but right. there was some really strange um, symptoms that I've never had before. There you go. And it was the, it was like um, uh, body aches to the point where like it felt like you had restless legs. You, you can't sleep. You couldn't lay still. You, you couldn't get comfortable. <clears throat> so I had to take ibuprofen, which helped, but yeah. which I hate taking. Ugh. I don't like taking medicine. Right. Anyway. So then, um, but it, it just took forever then for me to get over this. You were drained. I remember the... the uh, I just... couldn't eat anything, mm -mm. and um, I remember trying to go to sleep, starving. I, was, I <laughs> right. just felt like I was starving. Yeah, she, it, was, it was... for like three or four days, I couldn't right. really... Nothing. It was then, just... But after I got sick, I'm like, I'm starving. Right, 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 right. right, right. Like crazy. But right. nothing but... tastes right. Right. I never lost my taste or lost my smell. Right. But nothing tasted right and nothing smelled right. It was very strange. Right. But anyway, but, but the... I don't know what I had, but that's that's the most uh, <sighs> sick I've been in a long time. Now, I haven't been sick like that. Right. And, and she's telling years. you very high level. And we're not going to get detailed, but one thing I want to say is, I've never seen my woman drained. I mean, no energy, can do nothing, in pain, just has to lay in bed, can't move, just, just, I'm just saying, I, I, and then I'm just praying, and then you guys engage in prayer, I'm just saying, and all of a sudden, thank you for praying, right, I saw this miraculous change, and you guys even said, hey, how's she doing, I go, right. hey, she's doing better, and she came right. in here for a second, and then, it wasn't, and I really felt like, all of a sudden, there was this one point where I felt like the Lord say, um, cancel the assignments of the enemy over right. you. Wow. And I just started breaking that and canceling every assignment that the enemy had over me. And I started to feel better almost immediately. Right. I wasn't 100% right away, but I, it yeah. was like I was on the mend. And you you're tell? still not there, but, but. Yeah. So. The journey. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we've been trusting God in all these things. And your prayers, of course, are, are amazing. Mm -hmm. God is doing it all. The enemy can't touch us. Even if our physical bodies stop, we win. <laughs> we'll meet you on the other side, okay? Okay. Whew. In saying all that, wow. Psalm 127, verse 1. And I, I know this, you know this, but I just stumbled on it just the other, because it was important God reminded us. Unless the Lord, unless Almighty God, yod heh vav unless He build unless he watch and keep watch it is in vain to do so what does that mean if god ain't doing it you shouldn't be doing it uh, being very simple yes we can break it down there's a lot to it but in our scenario okay we're like god i feel like i got knocked off the wall i i feel i literally yeah. feel like i got knocked yeah. off the wall. Yeah, because we couldn't really I, do anything. No. Um, I, it, it was like a pause. Okay, I'll be honest. I took my notebook. Today I found it. I was going through my notes. Here's my notebook right here. Okay, I was going through it. There is a gap from September 6th to September 22nd of I didn't write in my notebook. I'm, be, I'm just letting you know, I'm being, now that doesn't mean I wasn't engaged with God and doing right. things. Right, I was going to say, right, right, right. I, would, I would still be praying and everything, but I... Right. Right. It but wasn't as... Um, what I'm saying is part of our, what we, who we are, what we do, we couldn't do. I was, in, I could, it was pain. Yeah. And then taking care of, okay, I, no, I'm like, hmm. but she was down. Her mom was down. Mike was down. Bree was down. We were all down. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we were all trying to get... Take care of each other. Right, take care of each other. It was, anyway, so in saying that, we joined together so we know... We weren't knocked off the wall. We're still in Christ. And unless the Lord build, unless the Lord keep watch, he's always keeping watch. Now that we're here, we are engaged. Yeah. Now, in saying that, we're going to go right here to this wonderful scripture that we have waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're going to read it. All right. Whoopie doo Hey, whoopie doo I love the way that looks. Okay. I'm not going to get crazy. All right. So, this is Habakkuk. Chapter 2, well-known verse. We're going to do 1 through 4. Add anything that you want to. Mm -hmm. 
I will I... stand at my watch. Yes. Station myself on the ramparts. Yes. I will stand on my watch. We are standing on our watch. You do what you got to do. We are standing on our watch and station ourselves. Yes. Do you guys know what a rampart is? Yes. It is a fortress. It is a dome of protection. Yes. It is part of the wall that you are on, our part. And I like, um, I will look to see what he will say to me because I always, oh. like lately I've been like going, Lord, I know this is the end. We're close. Right. We are close. Right. And um, is there anything you want me to say? Is there anything right. you want me to pray about? Is there anything, you know, that you want me to do left? You know, right, right, of course. Because we know time is short. We're just time being honest, short. guys. Time is short. So, yeah. right. <laughs> and so, uh, so, so when I came across this, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is what we do. Right, <laughs> right. And so we'll, we'll go here. Verse 2. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation. Make it plain on tablets. <laughs> tablets. Yeah, all kinds of tablets. All you guys use tablets. Okay. Make it plain on tablets so that the herald, right, the one who announces, may run with it. For the revelation awaits for an, an appointed, appointed time. time. An appointed time. A moedim. A moed. A moedim. An a kairos. In the Greek, a kairos. That exact perfect moment that God has designed before... 3D world was created, huh? Boop. Yes, before then, God already had it all ready to go. Okay, that's the appointed time that we're waiting on. Now, it speaks of the end. Mm -hmm. And will not prove false, though it linger. Wait for it. Wait for it. It, it yes. It. You go all ahead. know that it is, it is so close. You can it touch it. So, like there and the Lord is like you can see the finish wait line. for it yes just wait for it yes it's coming right it so, will certainly come and will not delay right though it linger wait for it mm -hmm. it will certainly come okay it will not delay now the only reason I have that bottom part because we know what the enemy's doing and he's come we're gonna be gone he's come but the righteous shall live by faith mm -hmm. and we're gonna get into that right now but the righteous why are we righteous, any of us? Because everything Christ Jesus did, yes. and when we come into him, he washes us with his blood inside and out. We're separated from sin, and he puts his righteousness in us. Mm -hmm. His righteousness mm -hmm. gets put into us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that person, the righteous, shall live by faith. Yes. And that's what we're going to get into. Yes. You good right uh -huh. now? Okay. If you have enough faith mm. to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, then you have enough faith. And you can ask, you know, mm. more for more. Of because course. even even just a little bit, it, right. the mustard seed. Right, the mustard seed. It's the whole know. mustard seed thing. It starts with the beginning, of course. And we're going to get into the, the whole process. But yes, what yeah. she's saying, it starts with that very beginning. You, had, you have faith when you... A lot of people, I, I think that they come down on themselves because their faith... You know, sometimes our faith feels weak. Seems weak. Okay. Um, you know, when the enemy comes at us strongly, You're right. our faith still seems weak. Sometimes it catches us off guard. Absolutely. We have to be on guard. Absolutely. So when you're when you're watching, you're um, more um, you know you're watching engaged. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I would right. say engaged. Right. right. Because it is uh, like we were exercising. It's an active yes. Faith. Actively watching, actively waiting. waiting. There you go. There you we're go. We're active. Even though it doesn't seem like we're doing a whole lot, we're still... Very active. Extremely active. active. Okay. Here's the simplest way to go. If you do your own research and you go look up where the re Greek and the Hebrew on waiting or lingering or tarrying and all those, they're very active words. Even, even receiving. To receive is a... Taking, lambado. So there's all kinds of things. If you, that's what we're talking about. It's, it's. Don't think just the English word. We're gonna wait. We're gonna sit on our and we're gonna suck our thumbs. And, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's not waiting. What, what God means in the Scripture. It is an active engaging in the Word, engaging in prayer, which is just communication with Him. It is engaging with one another, doing the one another's in the Scriptures, 
over, you know, however you want to do them, but we're connected globally. Mm -hmm. That is what we're talking about. It is an act. We, we taught it in the other one on, in, in Hebrews, right? That the whole, the, um, like a training, like a, like an Olympian, you are training like a, a, a professional athlete. You are training you are to, to use your gifts, all the gifts that God has given, all the things that's lifted, listed in the scriptures can be activated in you and you can use them mm -hmm. anytime God wants to, right? Yes. Okay. So, insane. Now we're going right through here. So, it, that, that leads us right into, and we're doing making great time. We are making great time. Okay. So, this is a scripture that everybody knows, but we're gonna we're gonna go a little deeper. Okay. Now, Hebrews chapter eleven is what some call the faith. Chapter. Right. The wall of faith. The heroes of faith. Mm -hmm. And it mentions all these amazing male and female, wonderful people of faith. Yeah, and, and just and mind blowing. And in fact, Paul, who more than likely wrote Hebrews at the bottom, even says, I wish I had more time because I can't even get into and he lists seven more people that that are just phenomenal faith people and all the prophets. So that's Hebrews 11. Now, right before in Hebrews chapter 11, verse one, though, God tells us what faith is. And so we want to do just a little digging. Is there something that we can learn about that? So what is faith? Now, you guys all know this. You can see it on the screen. All right. I'm just going to read it first, and then we're going to dive into it. Let me take a drink. I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't have to explain it. You can see me. I'm just going to, okay, forget it. Because <laughs> I will get a comment. Why do you got to tell me when you're taking a drink? Okay. <clears throat> so Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And in many different translations in English, we, they says differently, but the same thing. And we've heard it for years. And I bet there are still many people that will read that and go, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Over, right, over the yeah. years, so when God was teaching us faith, I used to study this because I didn't have the computer stuff at that time. I had to get books. I had to go open books and turn pages. Okay. I would go through there and I would get all the different types of Bible translations that I can get. I would get out the sources because in my mind, I was not a smart person. I just wasn't. Some of you know my past. I just didn't think I was smart. So I would get all of that and I'd lay them out and I would get every single word and say, okay, what is everything that that word can mean? What does that word can mean? And I would go through every single word so that I could understand what faith was. Mm -hmm. There are so many volumes of books and studies and teachings on faith. I'm, I'm going to put that aside for a second. I'm just going to keep this simple. And we're going to explain this. And we're going to, the Holy Spirit, teach us. Teach us. We're going to go through faith. Okay. Now, very simply. Now faith is. First, let's handle faith. Now faith. Now faith is the Greek word 4102. So let's go into this. Faith. We know what this is. You, sometimes <clears throat> you can't articulate what you're actually doing. <laughs> you can't articulate faith itself. But we're going to give it a shot. The, the Greek word faith there <coughs> is a conviction of truth. Okay. Trust and confidence. Unwavering knowing in Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Just what you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. About, you know, God. So it is that unwavering conviction <laughs> that nothing can change yeah. my, what I, my understanding of God. God has showed me himself. My faith is in him. He's faith. So that is faith. So a conviction of truth is unwavering. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now faith. So that's faith. Now faith is. Now what does the Bible say? Now faith is. So that is what? Substance. Now that word is translated in different ways. But let's break it down a little bit. So substance. So faith is substance. Faith is that which has actual existence. It has actual matter. What? It is a firm substructure. It is a solid foundation. Hold on, let's scratch our heads together. Faith is a solid foundation, a complete solid substructure that is firm. So faith is an actual something that has matter, something that can be seen and touched by some realm. Right? That's just faith. That's the substance. So faith is that. Faith is an actual solid foundation. Let's just go with that. So faith is substance. And this says of things hoped for. But it's only one word. And of course, because we're English, we not English, we're American. Anyway, we have to know 
things hoped for. So that word hoped for is G1679. So this word is hoped for, simple, to hope, to trust in, to wait for salvation, deliverance with joy and full confidence. We are waiting for our deliverance. Yeah. It is drawing nigh yeah. in full joy and confidence. What do you want to say? Pretty cool? Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so that so that's things hoped for. So faith, you know what faith is, is a solid foundation for this solid hope, trust, this unwavering belief in the salvation that's coming, which is Christ Jesus. Okay, just to stay with me. Okay, so now faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the evidence, now, of course, that seems easy. Evidence is the Greek word 1650. Now, that means the evidence, proof, actual proof, a thing <laughs> that is proven or tested, an actual conviction. Get it? So if you have evidence, you can convict me. If, if you looked at me, is there evidence oh, oh. of Christ? woo I say yeah, but I don't know. Some of you say no. Okay, so evidence. So Faith is the solid foundation, <laughs> that whole structure that which hope is based on, that we can actually trust in Jesus Christ with full joy and confidence, okay, and is the actual proof of something that actually exists right now. And these things right here, which is G4294229, uh, is something that actually exists right now. It is an accomplished fact, okay, it is finished. Whoa. So, oh, look at this. So these things are finished. Remember, we're talking about God. We're talking about God. This faith is not something that's of our 3D world. It came from God, from him in his kingdom, his domain, his dominion, and he broke it into our 3D world. So these things right here are finished in Christ, in his realm, and being finished here in our 3D realm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Finished and being finished. Mm -hmm. All in that one word right there. Things that actually exist. Okay? And things that are not seen, uh, again, they're not detectable by our 3D senses. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I, I had to break it down like this. I hope you guys are getting it. I hope we're getting this revelation. So this is so much bigger than, you know, in fact, my girl, uh, Nicole Faith, Mm -hmm. has this um, Hebrews 11, one actually fake tattooed on her on her arm, actually, because it's her name. It's beautiful. Um, you want to say anything about this, about this, the faith? Okay, so just, just try to remember that. We know that in simple terms, I'm, can I tell some stories? So listen, when we were younger married, we had children. We were in the Army. I was in the U.S. Army. At, for those eight years, you guys, some of you know the story, but we have new subscribers. We lived, at the beginning, below poverty. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. We live below poverty. And even not knowing, sometimes, where the next meal would come from. Right. Okay. So not having groceries or food and all these. I'm not going to get into the details. But high level, just believing God. God was showing us faith back then to believe him that he would take care of us. So we would trust him and pray and give our need to him. And he would have people show up at our door with the things that we needed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it very simple. These are true stories. This is not make-believe. This is not a yeah. book that I read. This is our life. And we have story after story after story after story. This is how God brought us into the kingdom and showed us himself. This is how God brought us through the military. Exactly. Now, here's what I think is funny. We're at the inside, the, the, at the end, what we think is the end, which I, everything points to it. It seems that we're going out the same way. <laughs> we are living below poverty. We have, we, we've exhausted our resources. I'm just, this is not poor us, this, just listen. We came in this way in the kingdom. We're going out when he's coming, it's okay. He's prepared us for He's this. prepared us. So our faith is in him. When we were younger, remember our faith, we didn't have the physical evidence. We had no food. We said, God, you know our need and you are our provider. I'm just giving you an example and we, we lift it up and then God would provide. I had two jobs. I was in the military full time. I was working another job. She was working a job. We were below poverty. We had three children at the time. Facts are facts. Okay, so my point is this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> so, but I, I, it, it, uh, well, here's how elegant, uh, Paul does a better job than I do. 
I know what it is to live in plenty. Yes. I know what it is to live without. Yes. In all my circumstances, <laughs> I am content in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. He is our all in all. He's our everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is literally our life. Yes. That is it. So in, in all those things, this, this is faith. He built us on. So right now, even with, um, are we going to sell the house, lose the house? We need a job. I don't have a job. All of that, all of that. We lift it to God and let him take care of it. And yes. we do with him what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. We're saying this because I know all of you are going through different types of trials and tribulations. <coughs> Not Jacob's trouble, but trials and tribulations that are getting us on our knee. That we're, it seems like we're facing death. I'll be honest. At times it seems like you're facing death. But God says, <clears throat> I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Now, very simply, I don't have it uh, on here on the screen, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you. So that's faith, okay? That faith right there. You know how God says, "By grace through faith, you are saved." Not of anything you can do, because no works are good enough that you can do. You can't boast. It is a free gift from God. Okay, so that grace through faith. The faith to get in doesn't even come from us just like grace comes from god it is god god gives us that grace that free gift he also gives us faith he gives us his faith how do i know galatians 2 20 it's an extremely famous verse i say it all the time it's my life <laughs> you know i oh, i have been crucified with christ i no longer live but christ lives in me and the life I now live in this body I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me it says right there that I live by the faith of the Son of God Jesus Christ his faith he is faith and his faith he gives to me he gives to Lori he gives to you mm -hmm. so that you can be saved by grace through his faith, his grace through his faith, nothing that we can do. So all of you guys that think we can have to do better, and it's, it's grace through faith, but all these works. You know what? You can go yourself because it is not. It is the tree of life. It is grace through faith. That's it. Free mm -hmm. gift. Yeah. And it's all from him. Yeah. It's all from him. Okay. Amen. 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 Now I'm going to hand this over to Lori. We've got some things we're going to talk about. I hope you guys... I love you. God is awesome. And we're still going to have some ministry time here. But God, I think, wants to have Lori go. We're going over some of this stuff. What's, what we got? What do you want to do? Um, are we here? Yeah, we're right there. So I had a dream. She had a dream! Like I said, I've been dreaming. And um, this has to do with Brazil. And I don't know anything okay. that's going on in Brazil right now. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, I flew into Brazil on a plane. In your dream? In my dream. Okay. And I saw... Uh, the hills in the distance it was like a valley so in the distance there was mountains and okay. some hills and it was everything was brown and dry very okay. dry okay and um, in the hills of, I saw a fire start and it ign I mean it, it just ignited really fast and it, it took off and the Lord I felt like I heard the Lord say uh, guide them out they can't see their way out say that again Guide them out. Guide them out. The people, they, they cannot see. see their way out. Wow. And so I don't know what's going on over there, but I just started okay. praying. I got pee. We started praying for yeah. the people in Brazil and that God would guide them. Um, and anyway, I don't know if there's fires going on or not, but please pray for them. If, if you know anything about Brazil or go. anything like that, put it in the comments. If, if you are it. from, yeah, if you're from Brazil or know anything about it, please put it in the comments because again, we're just going, God showed us something. We're praying for yeah. Brazil, Yes. but maybe you know more. Mm -hmm. That's very yeah. good. I'm glad you, that's cool. I'm glad you shared that. Yeah. So yes, pray. there's so many people that we could pray for. I mean, there's so many things that are going on. I mean, we're going to talk about some of them. Okay. What, what does go on? What, what else you got? What you want to? So we got that, that. Um, yeah, and before I got sick, I was I was kind of working on because you know yep. we we're talking about AI being um, the B system, the right, part right. of the B system, um, the infrastructure. I, I definitely think that that the AI is going to become an image. Mm -hmm. Yep, that um, will come to life. Yeah. Anyway, um, I told Pete. I said, 
Well, if that were so, then don't you think that the media and the entertainment would be the false prophet? <laughs> because, you know, they're always um, talking about what they're going to do ahead of time. Right. It's funny right. that, that they had all these video clips of September 23rd and yet nothing oh, happened. And that right. why is well, yeah. because God's people are still here. Right. They can't do anything until we go. Exactly. I mean, they can threaten Yep. They can spew their get their plans ready, their false prophecies, right? But they can do nothing until the Lord takes us, right? Until we're yeah. gone. C can I mention something that we were talking about about this part? So, so again, the spirit. Remember, we're, we, we're not talking humans, okay? There, we we talk in our other videos. It is the spirit behind, okay? So media and entertainment in general. Now we were talking about. Remember in our other videos, we mentioned the year uh, 1947, that that was just some kind of crazy year if you do your research on all the things. So that time, one of the things was, is when they, the, the technology was there to get to the masses, especially in America, to get to the masses, mm -hmm. a tube that you could set in front and it would tell their vision. Mm -hmm. That was around 1947. From there, it exploded, okay? And then, of course, the, there were the big shows, I Love Lucy, all that. I'm not going to get into that, but... but TV dinners. Oh, gosh. TV went from the dinner table uh -huh. with the family to putting everything in front of that mm -hmm. tube that was telling a vision mm -hmm. from that time. Now, right. over time, it has increased, 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 increased. And you guys, I'm not going to bore you with the details. <laughs> bore you. You should do your research. It is uh, crazy. False prophet. A prophet. It is a mouthpiece, a mouthpiece for something. Something wants to speak, and it has a vision, it has a plan, it has something it wants to say, and so it needs a, a mouthpiece, right? So their false prophet has been media entertainment in all its forms. And I'm not saying, don't listen to music, don't watch movies. No, 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 no. We're in Christ. We live by the tree of life. We see Christ in yeah. everything. Talk about a subtle, you know, um, a subtle... Uh, what? growth of, oh, right, right, of, right. Of, of it, you know, the advancement like, of, like right. yes, the advancement of it. And it's funny because I was telling Pete like years ago, I was saying how, how much our, our American television has changed cultures in the world. Oh yeah. Remember how like oh. when I was a kid, it was very <laughs> big that people were still kind of dressing in their culture. Right, uh, right, right. Everywhere. And, and, you know, and then everybody started looking American. But wait, know? what came out when we were but, kids? What? I gotta have my MTV. MTV, yeah. right? But what I'm saying, right. and so and it, you know, they pushed a lot of fashion through that. But anyway, I'm just saying that like um, there was a, a story of like a, a, somebody in a village in Africa had a TV, oh, oh. and everybody was gathered around the television there, <laughs> and it's just like just goes to show you wow. that how easy wow. you can. That the television in. has influenced us. Right. I mean, right. It, it put us to sleep, right? Right, right, right. It put us to sleep for a long time. Right. And a lot of people like um, uh, it took a it took a what everything to wake us up. Like you know, like the Lord was like, wake up. Now. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for, we were yeah. under its spell. Of course, of course. And I'll be honest, it, it was it was about for uh, we've had a, a a journey, a process of it. But really, from 2019, 2020, we really, like everything. We grew up with it. Right. We grew up in it. We grew up with it, always. And, well, and that, well, that's, okay, so that's what I want to try to say. Right. Is, as a false prophet, the media entertainment, mm -hmm. from the 40, 47, okay, mm -hmm. then it had a massive tick in the 60s. Mm -hmm. They took prayer out of schools, okay? Now, uh, uh, advertisement in, in Chicago, New York, and some other places started really pop. What's the name of that show about the the, the advertisement men? Oh, Mad Men. Mad Men. Okay, yes. That again. <clears throat> that was showing about the culture. What I want to tell you is, the television at that time was telling the vision that women do certain things and men do certain things and kids do certain things. That you work the eight hours but, right, to do the right what, right whatever the message was yes that whatever the message was it was being told to us in all the different programs in different ways so that we could all get it and we were focused i'm just just go with me for a second okay now in the 60s there was that major rev, that revolt okay and then they took out god and it got worse and the 70s came and okay and you know, you, <clears> just follow me all that 
what television kept changing, kept changing. Mm -hmm. Then the 80s came and all hell broke out. Now listen, I love the 80s. We're Gen X. I adore the 80s. But I see in yeah, Christ, but I, no, 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 hardly none of it, but, but I see in Christ what was being pushed, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the false prophet in the 80s was money, 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 material things, mm -hmm. you, our look has to be right. The people of the 70s disappeared. Mm -hmm. The 80s was all about image, and all of a sudden, the television, all the programs were saying what to wear, what to eat, what to drink, what to do, what to say, what to... Dude, totally! I mean, you name it, you just, just everything. Now... I'm being funny and it, it, it. the false prophet was sending a message little by little taking out God in every single program it made the Christians look stupid it made dad look like he knew nothing mom was only concerned in controlling lives and the children were smarter than everybody and they can do that yeah, was yeah. the that was the vision. Stupid TV. That was I used being to call it stupid right. TV. It's like this is just making our kids stupid. Right. It's like I felt like you know when we grew up, you had to figure out the jokes. They don't right. just plainly tell. Even Bugs you. Bunny, my gosh, you had to figure you know, it out. You have to figure it out. Right. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> the nineties and the nineties to two thousands. They started uh, explaining everything. Everything was so. Uh, <laughs> Watered down. It, it, it was, TV. anyway, it was dull. Politically correctness came out. Anyway, they, I, was, but, I would but tell again, my kids, you guys are watching stupid TV. Right, right. Let's find something else. But again, so that, on the topic, yeah. it was trying to mold people. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to tell you, of course. And then we're going to fast forward it to now. <clears throat> it is... Good is bad, and, and bad and is good. As well as the news. You know, we trusted well, the course, news for so long, and then, right. you know, all of a sudden, and, and people still can't <laughs> get away from it. Can't get away from yeah. that the news must be telling the truth. And it's right. like... You know, listen, I'm going to break your little hearts for a second. Even the most famous trusted man in America, way back in the day, that covered a lot of those major things that happened in the, in the, in the world, was still corrupt and worked for the B system. I just need to let you know that. I'm not saying they're bad people, but they worked and were controlled by the B system. So even the news that was coming out of their mouth was not real and true. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Okay, I had to say that. Yeah. My point is this. Now, I trust no one <laughs> but Christ. Anyway, so in saying that, so that's the false prophet. Bid, boom, 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 media entertainment, movies. Now you got, you know, of course, Taylor Swift, all those people, they're, they're, they're witches and all, all that. So it's all being shoved down our kids' and grandkids' mouths. And, 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 and the schools say, hey, everything is fine. Lap dances are fine. And, you know, I'm being honest. That's the, the vision that they're telling. Now, that's the false prophet. What had happened with God and Elijah when they face the false prophets? The false prophets were destroyed and they died when the true God and the true pff, huh, pinpoint of God, his, the, the prophet, uh, right now it's the ecclesia, when God shot through him, the enemy bowed and was destroyed. So, even though there, it seems like overwhelming that false prophet that is pounding us right now, God's voice is getting out in ways just like this. Now, we're just nobodies, but we are sharing and trying to do our best to share Jesus Christ with the world the best that we can. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to go there? Here's the last three things. We're almost <laughs> done, guys. We're almost done. I hope you're getting some out of this. I wanted to tell you guys go this ahead. story that we were, we, were, we were laughing about something. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> How funny that God has really given us a sense of humor. <laughs> and I asked, I literally asked him, Lord, do you tell jokes? You know, like, do you have jokes? You <laughs> do you know? have jokes? And, yeah, um, I made Peter. Because <laughs> that's what I think. I'm right. I, I told him a long time ago oh, when long. we first got married, I said, I think God made you just so he could laugh. Listen, I slid across my on the kitchen floor on my socks all the way across, and I slammed into the refrigerator and I fell to the ground, and she said, I think God made you just so I could laugh. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, so I thought, Lord, if you tell jokes, tell me a joke. Tell you know? me a joke. And then I kind of just forgot about it. I don't know. Well, later in the day, there was a news about 
ga- um, Slick Willie. I won't mention his right. name, but we he's live the... in California, and he's the governor. Okay, well there you go. And is, he has a famous aunt. Anyway, I can't stand him. He's <laughs> evil. Can't stand him. And um, <laughs> anyway, he was gonna pass a law that day. He about, was passing gas. Um, something horrible against right. children. Yes. Say that. It was. Praying we're always praying children. against the things he's trying to yes, declare. Yes. We are always praying. So against whenever those you know things like that come up, it perks me up to. Right. Pray against it. Right. Anyway, um, so I actually had put his name in the Matrix. uh, The Matrix. And, you know, it gives you the three numbers. It gives you the Hebrew number, the English number. It's simple. And so, and then I take those numbers and I look them up in the Strong's. Right. Just to see what's going on. Anyway. What if? So one of the numbers, the English number was 1686. 1686. And I happened to look it up, and it this was the in the Hebrew. Sixteen eighty six means dove dung. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy's name, the guy's name in the Matrix calculates and equals. <laughs> she said it. She said it. Dove dung. No, I'm okay. not saying that God told that joke. But that's but, a good joke. But that... I just thought it was kind of. I was like, oh my gosh, he told me a joke. <laughs> Okay. He's like, I'm, I'm not a real big fan of it either. <laughs> we, now, we, listen, listen, we're normal. We're just crazy people. We're as, just crazy people. That's my human thinking. Right, right, right. And God likes to have fun. And guess what? If you don't like it, it's I too just bad. That was it, funny. it is funny because the guy is. Okay. Dove dung. Dove dung. I love it. Dove dung. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, baby D, go do one on dove dung. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. Put, oh, put those two things together, baby D. Okay. Uh, go to the next one if you want. Okay. That's a funny joke. I love that. So last night, um, last night, you know, we're all watching the the constellation of the Virgo mm. and the baby being born. Uh, we know that this is a very significant time. Well, um, on the news, they're talking about um, and a storm is coming towards California, and it's the first. El Nino storm oh. of yeah, 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 2023. Yeah. Right, 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 right. supposed to hit the beginning of October. El Nino. El Nino. You know, did you know that that means the Nino? The Nino. <laughs> so. But. Anyway. I digress. And actually. In the means, Spanish, in Spanish, it means. It means the Christ child. The Christ child. So El Nino is the Christ child. Yeah. And you said he's on his way? On his way. He's on his way. <laughs> I just think that's really great. With an atmospheric river heading right towards us. Right. Of course. Uh, Repo Man he's 64. Gonna, he's going to protect us. I don't right. know if we will be here by then. I know. We might be gone. But listen, I don't know where Repo Man, 60, <coughs> Repo Man 64 is, but you said you were having like massive lightning and thunder and they, when you were doing your last video. Where are you, dude? Where are you at? I would yeah. like to know. But anyway, um, El Nino. Go ahead. So anyway, um, I just thought that was interesting. That um, It is interesting. Yeah. You're interested. The Nino's coming. <laughs> the Nino's coming! Okay. You want to do this one? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, we're in it with that. Okay. So we went through all this stuff. Did we learn anything? I hope we did. Okay, so again, just... We're ending right now. This is the end. <laughs> we just wanted to you know, basically come up and right. tell you what God's doing. Listen, I... I... I was going say? through last night god we didn't even really this. moved and sp- i really feel like he spoke to me and i'm not saying i'm not setting dates it's in the book we all know that we are in a high water right time. right 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 okay but don't you think it's significant if if you took mm-hmm. if you went to stellarium and you looked at the virgo and you panned out on the day of the full moon, which is the 29th, 29th. Sukkot, no, Sukkot. Uh, how do Sukkot. you say it? Sukkot. Well, Sukkot, which is next. But anyway, yes. Anyway. The 14th day of the seventh month. Go ahead. It is um, Tishri 14. Yes, Tishri 14. I put Tishri 14 in the matrix and got some crazy good. Awesome. Uh, we're not even going to cover it because it's. Including the fact that the simple <laughs> number came up that the vine is ripe. Oh, ready to go. Ready All the, to the, go. Fruit, the fruit that and we have. And. The, the only scripture that it ties to is gathering. Yeah, well, I, no, it's rapture. It's listen, rapture scripture. Everything pointed to the rapture. Our numbers were in there. Three, five, seven. It said the rapture day. It said the last day on earth. I didn't want to get into it. I didn't know we were going to go there, but 
it, 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 well, not, not, we're not but, but we're not saying we're, the date. We're human. We're, we're just human. saying it is a high watt. Extremely it, high time. So anyway, what I was saying was if you if you if you pan out a little bit and you see where the moon is compared to where uh, the Virgo is, it is still under her feet. Uh, it is full. Right. It's supposed to be a super moon. It is a full a super it's a last a fourth super moon. Right. Right, 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 right. right. Yes, yes, yes. And you had a dream of It's also back. a harvest moon. About okay. full moons. Yes, I full did. Moons. Oh God, yes. Anyway, yes. and so um, full moons. So anyway, <laughs> we uh, when it's you cold, it's still moon, under her one. feet, right. and it will be full. Oh, and oh, it oh! Turn blood red that night. We right. don't know. Right, and what you were saying, um, okay, I, for, brother, forgive me. I think it's K J V something. You do some videos. You do a great job, but. You did this one, I think, where you put the you put the baby. I think it was you. You are the ex guy. Anyway, you put the baby in the Virgo, and yes, it looks like it'd be out where the doctor would actually grab it, which would be on the 29th, because he put a he overlaid a baby oh. on the Virgo so you could see where, the size of the baby to her. And yes, okay, so the, the 29th is uh -huh. when the yeah, you'd be caught up. Right. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we're just throwing now, what okay, we're seeing. I That's just wanted it. to remind you guys. We talk about our cards all the time. Well, that uh, night right, that right, we right. drew the cards. Mm -hmm. um, we were literally like the like like my daughter had gotten the king of. It's right here. The it was Darth no Vader. November. We knew that that was about the end. November twelfth, twenty twenty one. The <coughs> all at the same time, our phones had a um, alert. All yep. at the same time, scared the bejesus out of us. Yep. We thought that the Lord was coming at that very right. moment. Right, 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 right. We right, right. jump out <laughs> for our seats like, oh, my gosh. It was the craziest, thing. yeah. And, um, oh, my gosh. And and we never got one before that. I or mean, since, it's been years or, or right, since then. Right, 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 right. And so for oh, some right. reason, I feel like that this October, October 4th, 4th is, has, and, the, and the EBS has something to do about yeah, the Christ. And, right, and which is... Basically three days after potential liftoff, mm -hmm. which is a darkness time. It all fits, okay? Anyway, just, it was just there. Stuff. Right. Extremely interesting. Didn't even know we were going to share that, but thank God we did. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? Check it out. Te check, put Tishri, 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 and then I spell out 14. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, go, in the major. Baby D and all you guys, all you, all you MJ, all you... It's good stuff. <laughs> MJ Ultra. Good stuff. And I, I look up all the numbers. I oh, look, yeah. Like, if it tells me a number, I look it up in the Strong's. So, both Hebrew and Greek. Not always does it, you know, but it's, right. you'd be surprised at how much meaning you get. If you can step back with the Holy Spirit, He will show you a message. Mm -hmm. He just shows you a message in the Scripture, in there. It's amazing. Anyway, we can do a whole other teaching on that. Yeah. So, so. We encouraged? We encouraged? Okay. You encouraged? I hope you guys are encouraged, and I oh, love you guys. Soon. We love you we can't so wait much. To see you in the clouds. Yes, and please grab someone, be kind, love on them. Again, don't forget the one another's G two four zero. Go check practice and check it out. Go do them. Yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. Check it out. We can't wait to see you guys. Yes, I mean it. Tickle fight, Barry. Okay, now is that it? That's we it. love you. Adios. Everybody, we will see you in the clouds. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>